This video will cover the step-by-step -step build process of the Diamondback Current. First, remove the extra parts box, saddle, and the front wheel. When removing the bike, be sure to grab from the frame or the wheels. Avoid pulling it out by the wires or the cables. In the parts box, you will find a seat, pedals, charger, keys, reflectors, kiox display, and the tools. Tools that will be included in the box will be a pedal wrench multi-tool, which includes an 8, 10, 12, and 15 millimeter wrenches. Also included is a 6, 5, and 4 millimeter Allen wrenches. To install the handlebars, you will first need to remove the 5 millimeter bolt to remove the top cap. Now you can take off the cardboard spacer and install the stem on the steer tube. Reinstall the top cap by tightening down the 5mm bolt. Later in the video, we'll show you how to make final adjustments to the headset bearings and the position of the handlebars. It's recommended to apply a little grease to the seat post to allow the post to move smoothly in the seat tube. Insert the seat post into the seat tube and tighten down the quick release. It should take some good resistance to close the lever. If you prefer to flip the bike over while working on it, be sure to remove the display mount and flip the button pad. Try to set the bike on a soft surface to prevent any damage. Remove the front axle by putting the quick release lever into the slot. This will allow you to back out the axle to install the front wheel. Take the spacer out of the front brake caliper. Put the front wheel into position while making sure to align the disc rotor in the brake caliper. Install the axle back into the front fork using the quick release lever to screw the axle into place. Once this is tight, you can close the lever in the up position. We suggest you apply some grease to the pedal threads before installation. Pedals are specific to the left and the right side of the bicycle. If you look close at the ends of the pedals, you will see that there is a small L for the left pedal and a small R for the right pedal. When installing the pedals, get the threads started in the crank arms with your fingers. This will make it less likely to cross thread your cranks. The right side pedal, you will tighten it on by spinning the wrench clockwise. The left side has opposite threads, so you will spin the wrench counterclockwise to tighten. To pump up your tires, remove the Presta tire cap and open the tire valve. On the tire sidewall, it will give you a recommended range for tire pressure. The current tires are rated between 35 and 60 psi. We recommend you start somewhere in the middle and adjust the pressure to fit your riding style as you get more comfortable with the bike. Using the guide on the handlebars, center them on the stem. Remount the display mount and tighten down the bolts in a cross pattern to make sure pressure is evenly distributed. Put the display into the mount and they will connect magnetically. To adjust your headset, make sure the two 4mm stem bolts are loose. Grab the front brake and use your other hand to place your fingers between the frame and the top of the headset. As you rock the bike back and forth, you should not feel any movement between the two. If there is movement, tighten down the top cap bolt until it is gone. Now align the stem to the center of the front wheel and tighten down the two 4mm stem bolts. If your steering feels stiff, this means the top cap bolt is too tight, and you will need to loosen these three stem bolts and start over again on this adjustment. To remove the battery, you'll first need to remove the battery cover. Slide the metal clip back, and it will release the cover from the frame. Put the key into the lock and turn to unlock the battery. To fully remove the battery, push the clip on the top to release it from the frame. To install the battery back into the bike, put the battery pack into position and turn the key to allow the battery to slide into place. Push the battery the rest of the way until you hear an audible click. Put the battery cover back on and lock to the frame. To charge the bike, plug the charger into the wall open the rubber charge port on the frame and plug in the charger. You can also charge the battery out of the bike by plugging in the charger directly to the battery. The battery indicator lights will flash until the battery is fully charged. You will only need the keys when you want to remove the battery. 
Make sure to keep track of the key numbers in case the keys are ever lost.